Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Nick Charles and Mike Bunyan Rowe. So, yeah, so I heard you're selling your underwear now for money. Yeah, give it away. Mm. Who, whoever wants it mm. can have it. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. You're with me, Nick Charles. I have the lovely, the lovely, the sometimes pretty. It's Mike! Well, this week I've got a story about someone's flabby kebab. Well, we're in for a treat. So on screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. And you can also hit the Cud TV for our website and on YouTube or a podcast service. Look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And of names of people who have reached out with their digits and interfered with our bitties, go along the bottom of the screen. It's time for this week's showbiz with Nick. <laughs> So, R. Will Young has been in the, in the news lately. Oh, naked? Mm -hmm. No, sadly not. I know, I, know you're, I know you're hoping for that, but this time is about he's blasting Tories for Good. creating fear around trans people and the huge amount of misrepresentation. There's a handsome man. Oh, so beautiful. Mm. Yeah, he's a bit of me. A bit of yeah. me. Don't know why. He's, yeah, he looks mm. comfortable. Yeah. I feel like he's the kind of person you want to take to your mom's house. I think my mom would want me starstruck than meeting him. <laughs> him that this is my boyfriend, to be, to be quite fair. To mm. be quite fair. But yeah. But, but yeah, he has been in the news because he has called on conservative government because he said they are stoking fear around trans communities, saying there's a huge amount of misrepresentation, mis which is quite true. I uh -huh. think he is on the ball there. I think there is a bit, a lot, lot of misrepresentation when it comes to trans people. I feel like they're being like, you know, portrayed as the enemy, which is never the case, yeah. and which reminds, which kind of reminds us of what we went through mm -hmm. as um, part of the LGBTQ plus um, family. Like we dealt with something similar when we were fighting for rights, and now yeah. they're fighting for rights. Over, and it's quite, it is, it is quite sad to see. But what's your take on it? I mean, I, th I think you you summed it up quite nicely. There. It's the LGBT plus family, mm -hmm. right? They're part of the same family. We need to look after our siblings. Yeah. Yeah, um, and you know the the Tory government back when I was a back when I was a lad, right, brought in Section Twenty Eight, which means mm -hmm. that at school I was completely unprotected from bullying. Yeah, because a teacher couldn't stop you being bullied. Yeah, for being gay, they could stop someone punching you, but that was it. Yeah, and it's like, and now we've got you know our our, our trans siblings are stuck with this mm -hmm. being victimised as well. And you've got people like you know turfs going, oh no, can't come into our toilets and that. It's just what. <laughs> Off. Yeah, it's a lot. Just off. It's Be nice lot. to people. Yeah, I think it's always lovely when people like Will Young and people like who are big names in yeah. in celeb news and showbiz like say what they mean and you know act it, which is absolutely all we need. But I think him being a voice of reason, mm -hmm. um, they wouldn't listen. They would no. not listen, it's but not it's nice to see him be vocal about it yeah. because we need we need that extra support. It's good to see him as an, as an ally. So 100%. we 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 yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, yes. Mm. I we, remember when he did Manchester Pride, and he wore a see through sh see through suit. You could see his underwear. Oh wow! Yeah, you was wet, weren't you? It was rainy. It was Manchester Pride. <laughs> it's oh, don't think anyone's dry at Manchester. Oh, you mean as in moist? Oh yes, that was moist too. Ooh, this is a lovely drink in a cup. Tastes like gin. Yeah. It <laughs> <laughs> it's just warm. Moving on. <laughs> so, did you ever watch Jennifer's Body? Do what? To do tricks? No, Jennifer's Body is a film. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jennifer's Body star was, was starred with Megan Fox, who is married to Machine Gun Kelly. Well, no, I think they're engaged, actually. Okay. Um, and Machine Gun Kelly is an American singer. Mm -hmm. um, very versatile. Kind of like the US version of Young Young Blood. Okay, cool. They're kind of like eccentric, like rock star life kind of thing. Nice. So he's married to Megan Fox, who's currently seeking a girlfriend. Oh. Mm. Mm. Very beautiful. Absolutely She's stunning. stunning. She, very, very she has, pretty. She has a pair of breasts that's mm. quite impressive. Lucky that my breasts are small and, and humble, so they don't confuse them with mountains. No, they're, they're, quite, <laughs> they're quite large bosoms. <gasps> oh, yeah, she's a beautiful. Has she, she had an enhancement? I do, do not know. I think if she did, 
it was worth the money. Oh, it's been very sympathetically done. She has had a, a friend. Yeah, it's very much. But yeah. she's always been very stunning. She, have you seen Transformers? Yes. She's actually in as well. She's quite, she's quite oh. something. She said that she's, um, if it, it reads that she is um, kind of like finding out who she is kind of thing. And um, she, I think she said she's, she goes, her sexuality could always go different ways. And I feel like even though she's with a man at the moment, in this time and age where, for example, um, partners were man and, like a man and a woman, but now she's like, no, I want to, if I want to have a boyfriend and a girlfriend, yeah. And I think that's great to see. I yeah. think, you know, and if you're seeking for a girlfriend, I'm pretty sure your boyfriend's not going to say no. Because he knows, <laughs> you know those, you know those straight boys. Yeah, they're going, ooh, ooh. Two women, it's like, yeah, yeah. Well, you can't please one. What makes you think yeah. you can please two? I um, mean, <laughs> I, know, I know a gay man who has four boyfriends. How do you keep up? So, well, who's I Megan Fox? Could be the thing. I can't even keep up with. I can't. I don't even have one to keep up with. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have. So, so but, but, what, would you? Would you? If you were in a relationship with a, a another a man, would you? If would you be open to having another another relationship? You see, I've never, I've never said no. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Right, but also, I'm, I'm very high maintenance. Nobody's got the energy to have a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're Just, basically saying you're a needy bottom. I'm not basically saying that I am a needy okay. bottom. Okay. Right. Well, um, I, just want, I, just want, I, just, I just want the crowd to know. The they people all on know. tape. They all know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's pretty much well established at this uh, point. Fair enough, fair um, enough. But yeah, I think if the dynamics were right, and I, I do think the whole if you're going to have a polyamorous relationship, that you can yeah. have that separation between mm. sex. And love, yeah, and, and yeah. But that's because that could be very mistaken in the wrong place. Sometimes I feel mm -hmm. like I used to be very much like, oh, I'm not, I'm open relationship. No, I don't want any of that. And as I got older, I realized who is it, who does this benefit? Just me. So why not? So if you wanna, if Megan, if you wanna have a girlfriend yeah, and a boyfriend, do it, girl. Yeah. Treat yourself. And it's nice to see that other you know people in a spotlight again. Yeah, showing look. There's diverse types of relationships yeah. out there and different types of gender identity and sexuality and things. And just saying, look, we can just try lots of different things. Yeah, exactly. It's a good message. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't always gay. I was actually bisexual for a very long time before I actually found who I was. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I think it, it's a journey. And I think, like, sex and gender, it's, there's so much conversations around it now where my advice is if you, if you want something with consent, do it. Mm -hmm. So it's what it is. We're talking about stuff with consent. <laughs> We are also seeing in the news that Barbara Walters, famous interview from America, she's regretted pushing Rocky Martin to come up before he was ready. Oh, okay. Now, before I give my hot take, look, there's Miss Barbara Walters. He's a beautiful Is, it, is she man. ABC? I think she is. I think she is ABC. News 9. And then yeah, Ricky know. Martin, live in La Vida Loca. He's a handsome man. Mm, another man. Another and his husband. Age. Oh yes. Hateful people because they're both attractive. Age well, but age well like a fine Spanish wine. Mm. Spanish wine, but I would. I think. I think I definitely would. Um, yes. Yeah, so I've just got the, the phrase "riding like sugar" <laughs> in my head for some reason. Mike, there are children watching this show. There are no children watching this show. <laughs> well, we can pretend. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, children no. but what is your thing? What is your because we we see we see this a lot mm -hmm. lately where people are being forced to come out, kit, kids of Connor, stuff yeah. like that. Um, what's your take on like being pushed out? Because I mean, I I I didn't get to come out because I was sadly outed. Mm -hmm. But what is your take on like these kind of like when you see stories like this? Okay, so. I know as a journalist, that's what she's going for. And, and yeah. you know, the time that Ricky Martin was forced out was very much uh, everybody was going, is he gay, is he straight, is he yeah. gay, is he straight? Um, so I understand journalistically why she was pushing. Yeah. You know, as, as, uh, as a journalist, as a human being, it's definitely the wrong thing to do. Yeah. Right? I don't think anyone should be forced out or outed or anything. Yeah. yeah? Um, very similar coming out story to you. I wasn't quite outed. Yeah. I got wind that I was about to be outed, so I literally ran home and outed myself. Yeah. Was not ready for it. Yeah. Right. Um, and unfortunately, neither was my dad. Had repercussions. Yeah. Um, and so I, I very firmly believe that people can come out when they want to. You don't mm -hmm. question people's sexuality or gender until they tell you what it is. Everybody's the same. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's not that they're straight or they're not that they're gay. They're just all... Ungendered, yeah, and they're unsexualized. 
until they tell you otherwise. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, um, I think, the, I know she wanted the, um, the conversation. Mm -hmm. And the year 2000 was a different time. What, a very different time. A very different time. Um, and I think as well, the to have someone want to come out on television or come out on air, it's a law. And I know she... She probably she probably was trying to help him do good, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like I think it's no one's business about where you want to come out from, where you want to go. I think when you're in to come out, it should be your everyone's journey is different. Mm -hmm. So I think it's one hundred percent all about where you want to go. So yeah, exactly. But at least I mean, but she, she did she, regret. she did something great because we have a gay man now who's quite sexy and fierce. Yeah. So and to be fair, she has now said. Yo, I shouldn't have done it. Yeah, so. and that's an accountability yeah. and taking taking back, you know, apologize. I think that's very like. I don't think that 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 shows that people have grown. Yeah, good on you, Barbara Walters. Yes, yeah. good on you. And and that's the end of Showbiz News. Look at us. Yeah, like our own Barbara Walters. Don't call me Babs again. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, thanks for that, Nick. <laughs> Always nice to know that Will Young has still got his gob on something. <laughs> Uh, you are welcome, but you stick around as next it's Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Tune the Cut with Nick and Mike. Now let's get ready to be mildly disappointed as it's Mike and the Buzz. Do you believe in psychic ability? Like a mystic Meg? Well, that kind of thing, yeah. Oh. Um, yes, but only if they read my palm and tell me I'm going to get a blowjob for five pounds by someone on the street. Are you paying or getting given? I don't know. I, 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 I can pay. Well, I can pay. Okay. I can pay. <laughs> I can hold five pounds. What's wrong with that? Were you not, have you not paid for sex before, Mike? No. I'm cheap. <laughs> you're, all, you're also a liar. I have, I've never exchanged cash for Ooh, sex. Oh, this gin is so nice. It's, it's not water. Water. It's <laughs> gin at all. I have money for gin. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, a psychic who predicted the Queen's death correctly. Oh. Okay. Has said something awful will happen to Prince Andrew. Like go to prison? Well, he might be a bit sweaty. <laughs> um, oh, no, he doesn't sweat, does he? Um, anyway, um, he's known for his doom-laden prophecies, and back in 2018, he predicted there would be a terrorist attack on a British motorway, a revolution in North Korea, um, and that drones and chemical weapons would be used in Europe. Um, so he's kind of guessed some bits that could be seen as right. Uh, but Mr Hamilton Parker, as he's known, um, says that he, he's ex expecting something horrible to happen to Prince Andrew. Um... How much psychedelics does he take? Because he's given me... He, 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 that photo is like he's walking into my soul. It's kind of worrying. I think he needs a good dentist. I mean, yes. I mean, can, um, can you not see a dentist? You can see everything else. <laughs> How about you see a dentist? <laughs> but yes. Yes. Um, so he said he, he, think, he feels that he's going to go through a psychological breakdown. Oh, wow. Um, after his death of his mother and can see King Charles turning against him. He may do something like take an overdose... But I don't see him dying. Is what um, I mean. Mr. I mean. Said. I mean. Uh, I mean. I could tell it. I could tell it two of the things that are true. He probably will, you know, have a moment because you know, and his his mom passed away. Mm -hmm. His brother told him. Um, I don't think the brother really cares for anybody else but, <laughs> but Camilla. Well, he's yeah, the, he's the king. He doesn't, does he? Um, but yeah, he's also said that he expects Prince Harry, Harry and Meghan to break up. Mm. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. I love them too. Me too. I mean, some of the choices don't quite agree with. Some I mean, of the I don't, that made, if he wants, to, if if Prince Harry, if he, if Mister, what's his name? Mister something something something. What's yeah. his? What's Hamilton Parker? If Hamilton Parker could um, tell Mister Harry if he want needs someone to help defrost his frozen todger, I'll be right. I'll be right here. Did you read that? But did you hear? Did you hear that story? About, yeah. about his frozen penis with Prince Harry. No. Do you know what? Fun fact. Uh -huh. Did you ever wonder if, if if one of them would have been gay? Yes. And I was hoping it would have been Harry. I always thought Will was a bit whiffy. I mean, I went to know, I went to, know to Harry. I wouldn't say no You to should Harry. see that in my future. 
Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> what you say, no, not saying no to Harry. No, but Harry would say no to you. That's a problem. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. That, look how the act would he dating a half black girl, an <laughs> all black gay man. <laughs> I'd be crucified. The Daily Mail would not be. They will not be. They'll be like this wretched black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only Diana was If only Diana was here. <laughs> Just come up from the grave. Hi. Me. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, I was about to make a very horrible joke about Diana. Ah, but I won't. No, because... may she rest in peace. May she rest in princess. peace. Yes. Um, she went to a lot of gay nightclubs. Do you know George what? Michael. I can see Diana. You know what? I can see Diana on the sticky floors of JY, twerking and burking to like some Cardi Sorry. B. <laughs> I think she'll have a lovely time. I feel that American kind of person will come to the bathroom and be like, "So what you got there, honey?" <laughs> like very queer centric. But I also think I, I always I always one of my very fond memories of her is like her and her stories of her being such an you know a big LGB, a big HIV and AIDS yes. of it. And I think I think so us as, first person to publicly hug a yeah. HIV patient. I think us as us as part of the LGBTQ plus community. I think we always we've. We, I don't know, we connect with her some we, way. We owe her a debt. Yeah. Because she did take a lot of the stigma yeah, out with her and went, I'm not having that, and went on, which I thought was yeah. you know, beautiful. Whether her intention was to be an LGBTQ ally yeah. or whether it was we'll just... We'll never know. Or just going, this yeah. is going to piss people off if I do this. Yeah. We don't know, but yeah. We, we think that Still Alive should definitely be, be an ally. Yeah, I think she would be definitely like on the front of the floor with KY Kelly waving a flag. That'd be cool. That'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> and Elton. Wheeling out. Oh my god. Wheeling out Cold, Damien cool, the job. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, that. Okay, uh, moving on quickly <laughs> from that really good Elton John impression. Uh, uh, Takeout food. Um, after uh, night out, has to be. What, what's your takeout food of choice? Ooh, it depends. Okay. If I'm getting, if I'm getting a taxi home on my own, mm -hmm. it's going to be chips and cheese. Okay. Love it, with maybe uh -huh. a pizza. Chips, cheese and gravy. Oh, yes. If I'm going home with a boy of my choice, oh, oh. one that just felt sorry for me. <laughs> I was going to say, um, one of my choice, I was just choosing. <laughs> one that felt yes. sorry for me, I was like, I'll take you. You know, like the last gummy bear in like a packet, like, oh. Or like the first piece of a bread, a loaf. So the one no one touches, it just stays in the back. Oh yeah, the crust. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I'm much more like the first piece of bread. Yeah, you know the first piece that you get past. Everyone's fingered me, but no one's kept me. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh God, no one day is single. It's funny. Anyway, it's <laughs> <laughs> everybody's fingered. No one's. Not taken this. Home. Not yeah. this. I yeah. mean, I, I've seen your name around. I've seen your name in the toilets and in, in I know. I wrote village. it. Please call Mike. For a good time, average time, just give oh, me a call. God. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that you're a martyr for blowjobs for free in the village. It's not even martyrdom. <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> I thought, what a way to be martyred. Uh, but yeah if, yeah, if I'm if I'm going home with a boy, it's like you just get chips in it because you don't know what's gonna happen. Because if I have to be the bottom, which happens maybe 50, 20. Okay. Um, you know you need to be ready. Yeah, you cheat. You, you're fine. If you go and at it in the next hour, you, you can eat cheese. It's fine. Yeah, you've Pro got time. Um, yeah. Well. People like to eat kebabs. Yes. And that's not I do love a good kebab, though. Yes. Um, it's about a Manchester man who ate 124 kebabs in a month. In a month? In a month. Yeah. This is Des from Manchester. He's 36. And he says he's been hurt both f psychologically and physically. How is he physically and psychologically like, hurt? Because he's consumed 250,000 calories in a month. He's eaten 124 kebabs. Nothing else. But just 124 but kebabs. Who forced him? He did it to raise money for a charity. He's doing it to raise um, money for okay. Francis House Children's Hospice. Okay, now I feel okay. I feel a little. <laughs> now I feel a little bit you, bad. You went a little bit too okay, in, didn't you? Okay, <laughs> okay, charity. Cha okay, everything's for cause. Charity. Yeah. But there's a lot of other things you could do, honey. Like go for a run, go for a walk. Well, you eat 124 kebabs. Shave your hair. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's, Mike. Raised, he's raised some money. <laughs> As a bald person, I can make that joke. It's allowed. Um, True. Yes. And if you want to make fun of people like me with no hair, you can't. But if you want to interact with us, you can on at the Good TV on social media. And that brings us to our story of the week. Ooh. Okay. Names. All right. Now, Mike, it's a good name. 
And my yeah. first name is actually Mike, though. It's Michael James. Because, yeah. The, <laughs> a retail worker called Graham, yeah, still believes his name is cool, despite the fact it's now been listed as extinct, along with other names, such as Nigel, Horace, Doreen, and Bertha. Now, I saw this story. My <laughs> best friend is name is Graham, and it's spelled the same way. Okay. It's not extinct. It's a cool name. I it's, mean, it's not been used at all since 2020 for any newborn babies. Oh, God. It's not the end of the world, is it? But Graham is, Graham is a cute name, though. It's a, it's a nice name. I mean, he's not cute, but the name's cute. But why the toes? It's the toes for me. It's the baby toes. Because that's where they put the name of the baby on their ankle. Really? Not when I was born. I had one on my wrist. It's a stone tablet when you were born. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was dropped from a tree or brought in a, in a or like, like in a stalk. Remember that, remember that story? Just Carried by a stalk, not in a stalk. That's like, very oh. messy. <laughs> Inside the stalk is very messy. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. But yeah, but I, so think yeah. it's, I mean, I, I mean, I don't even know any, I don't even know anyone recently named Nick has been born. Do you? No. No. But then everyone that I've, Family names, so it's yeah. But I think Graham is a. I think I think you need to have a seat and, and shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so um, other names: um, Coral, uh, Gertrude, Gillian, and Glynis. Are both yeah, but those extinct. are old, ancient names, though. Both my now my mum. I have a mum called Gillian and a mum called Glynis. So yeah, <laughs> they're the last. Um, and on that bombshell, <laughs> that's all from the buzz this week. Sorry, mums. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for talking about kebabs and everything else under the sun. That was sadly disappointed. But you know what? Kebabs are. Just like how all the men in my life, it never ends well for me anyway. But stick around. We'll be coming up. We have a game of the week on the way. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week, we are playing Uza Kazoo. And this one is for the sexually liberated. Whore, that is Mike. So, off your pop. Rude, but true. <laughs> Shocked, but not surprised. Game of the week. So, Mike is going to play a tune for us on the kazoo. And I have to figure it out. So, Mike, are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I have no idea if you... You said there was some determination. Oh, Are yes. you ready? Okay, are you ready? Go on then. <laughs> you, you're good on music, aren't you? Yeah, go on good. Then. Okay. Yeah, but you can't blow very well, so good luck. I've heard about your reviews. You haven't been reading the right website. to guess no because that was awful is that your blowing skills that that that's a brilliant rendition of by peaches <laughs> the pain away you know the song yeah but that was awful mike what? mike i love you i think you're a lovely person but but if this is your blowing skills well i'm really sorry for your partner in the future i i wouldn't be because my sucking skills are broken. Ah! <laughs> i'm done i'm done i'm done with this I have no idea, I didn't get that, so that's quite sad. Okay. Go on, go right, on. Um, Show me, give me another one. Stuck in my head, I know what it is, but um, is it is it is it manskin? Yes. Oh my god, it is. 
Oh my god, it's that song from your vision. The back of your vision. Yeah, it's Think about the lyrics of that song. Is it skin model? No, it's I wanna be your slave. Oh oh by main skin. But yeah. You'll be my slave. That's the name of the song. Okay. The accent felt a lot there from someone like me. But go on. you snip with cut cut to the feeling like yeah. Kylie Rae Jepsen would you cut with a knife two Thongs. things going together like this chopping no two things going together like this scissors scissors uh-huh think of a group with scissors in the name scissors yes I don't feel like dancing no oh. it was his sisters I can't decide oh god lord yeah you're, you're, you, so you're basically kazooing songs that are not singles, but album songs. I'm just doing songs from a list. This feels a bit cheap and sad, but I'll go with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a recent song. Is it Nicki Minaj to a freaky girl? It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of know that song. Yay! I know that, I know that by heart. Cause... Yay, me. <laughs> I can lick it. I, well, I... That's the, yes. Can't Not sing you, any though. of the lyrics on this show. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Of course, this is a very sexually liberating song. And you will know, my because you are what? A whore. I don't charge. Um, <laughs> Okay. Is that Lady Gaga? Yes. Is that Bloody Mary? It is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Look at that. Who would have, who would have thought? My kazoo skills are brilliant. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that deadpan comedy face. That only works on... That's me face! <laughs> 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 give me that comedy face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> Was that it? I saw, I saw you again. That's a lot of blue balls for that little bit of action, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I have no idea. But you know what I do enjoy? I do enjoy it. I put it in your mouth, you look like a, like a young penguin. It's cute. Yeah. You know, get her. I get penguin. Mm -hmm. Like Kangoo. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No, I couldn't get that song. Okay, it was uh, Cuff It by Beyonce. 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 Okay, was yeah. that Cuff It? Cuff It. Go try that again. Let me, let me hear that. <laughs> What's the song? I know, but I needed more from that. But. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get back a clue. Yes. Okay, I don't wanna. <laughs> uh, it's Megan Trainer. <laughs> and made you look. Yes, it is indeed Megan Trainer. Made you look. <laughs> as soon as you do the TikTok dance, everyone knows what it is. <laughs> but be thankful. Yeah. Get so to I it. think now every time you do um, this this segment, you uh -huh. should do dance performances because we need. I think <laughs> interpretive dance. Yeah, I think you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is the. <laughs> Next one. Don't we get to the chorus? Just because of that look. I can skip to the chorus if you like. Go on then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what the f is that? <laughs> the world's smallest violin. From AJR. Who? From AJR. TikTok. Oh, I the, the, the one where they get quicker and quicker. Like finishing this melody, it feels like a necessity. That one. So let me play my violin for you. I like the fact that you commit you, you, I commit. you oh, yeah. commit to this, but I had no idea because I don't use TikTok. But thanks for trying. I think, I think <laughs> we're done. I think we're done. So yes, so after this quick break, it's Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show where we create our very own... I actually don't know what it is, but now it's time for Crafty Queens? We've, we all have jewellery yeah. of some description. Yes. Right? What do you do with your jewellery on it after you've, you've finished wearing it? So you get home and you take your jewellery, you take your necklace off, what do you do with it? Take my knickers off. Necklace. A chain. Oh. A chain down. Those knickers. It'll leave your knickers on for a while. thinking. Um, <laughs> put it on the dressing table. Okay. Would it be nice to have somewhere where you could put it that's a little bit fancy? Yes. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to make something fancy. Okay. So, um, you should have a latex glove. Mmm. Yes. Do you know we're fisted on live TV? We are I'm not sure. doing fisting. You're fine. I've not brought enough lube for that. And by lube, by enough, I mean any. Mike Bunyan Row. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're not putting on the glove, you just need to have it. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Because this is where we're going to put our jewellery. In a glove? What? Well, on a glove. Oh, wow. Oh. Now, you should also have some wadding. The which white, is the white stuff in front. This is all this oh, white yeah. fluffy stuff. This is called wadding. Oh, wow. And it's what they make pillows and cushions and things out of. Right. Okay. And what we're going to do is take little pieces of this, tear it off, mm -hmm. and put it inside the glove. And push it all the way down to the tip. Won't be the first time. What, that you push it down to the tip? Mm -hmm. Not with the base I get it down to, but... So, like that. Okay? But you need to fill your glove with the wadding. Lots of little bits shoved in. Have you shoved things inside a glove before? Many a times. Like what? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pay for that, you know. I told you. <laughs> the price. It's the only fun. Supply again. and demand. Uh -huh. Supply and demand. Have you ever stuffed stuff with a, in a glove before? My fist. Well, where was the fist going? Oh, it was inside somebody's rectum, but. Wow. It was that. Is that what you doing in your spare time? Well, no, it was, I, I took the wrong door in an A&E ward one day and one thing led to another. And... <laughs> <laughs> it just it happened. It was a happy accident, but... 
I never saw him again, to be fair. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. It's funny because it's true. Yeah. Um, it's not true. It wasn't an accidental wrong turn. Yeah. You need to make sure you're packing it in quite tight so it gets stiff. Oh, you want me to get a stiffy? So I want, I want you to make sure whatever you're shoving inside is stiff. Okay. Well, I've never, I've never heard anyone have have a, a, a good time with a, a softy, so it has to be stiff. Well, unless, of course, you like to do it like that. Depends how. <laughs> you could be very slack. I'm not going to judge. Oh my God, Mike Bunyan row everybody. This could look a little bit rude. I've just realised that this. Very phallic. Very, it is very phallic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having a problem with that, to be fair. Right. <laughs> Are we secretly making toys for your enjoyment when you get home? Is this <laughs> what's would happening not, here? These would not be big enough. <laughs> like a yawning hippo down there. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm pretty sure men that are missing, I think huh? Nicole, you should check for them inside you. <laughs> well, there was the potholing expedition from 1974. Oh my God. I know they're okay, because sometimes I hear them singing. Do you collect, do you collect them like a like a... Like a prized possession. <laughs> Do I collect them like a slutty stamp collector? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I you know what? You know what? Nothing surprises me anymore. Yeah. I you know what? I live for you. I want you to live your best life. <laughs> if, and if, if if that means you you know, you know, do what you need to do. Okay. How are you getting on? I've this got... Tom is quite big, isn't it? <laughs> You've done look quite at that. large thumb. Look at that. It, look, it looks like a like, looks like a little sex toy, like a rabbit. Oh yeah, one for the for the clit, for the stink. This, oh. One for the pink, two for the stink. I don't know what goes inside you, but it's not around here. <laughs> two in the stink. The wow, my four, four in the stink, really. But wow, this when you get nineteen oh. in the stink that you've got to worry so about. So how do you how do you keep anything inside you? Do you eat? There's, so it there's, there's a, no, no, it there's a lot of wiring. Oh my god. A lot of underwire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I need to protect my reputation here. I'm not slack. Just well used. <laughs> <laughs> TBC. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm just finishing off my little finger and then I've done all my fingers. How are you getting on? Uh, I think I'm on the last one now, to be oh, fair. Good. Very, very rude, this thing. It's not rude, it's just, yeah, it's crafty. Uh, I, so, where, where does that idea from? Who, who taught you to stuff like this? Huh? Who taught you to stuff? This um, came from a viewer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It really didn't. Um, have you ever Googled five minute crafts? No. Okay. I don't, don't. want you, but my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've missed off your little finger. Oh, yeah. This little piggy went to market, this little piggy went home. <laughs> yeah. This little piggy went wee wee wee. <laughs> All over the rug. Oh, oh, later oh into my bacon. God. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you ever Google five minute crafts, you can lose a day watching these five minute crafts. Some of them work. Some of them don't, but all of them we attempt on this show. Um, yeah. I've got a little bit of a deformity on my little finger. <laughs> Same. <laughs> but, yeah. but then once you've done your palm, yeah, you need to get to the level of your thumb of the glove, but not any lower. You need to make sure you're well packed. Oh, that just remind me of summer 95. Why, what happened in the summer of 95? <laughs> I, you know, just stuffing some gloves out in the open road. How old would you be in 1995? I would be... <laughs> seven. I was thinking, there's, there's a line there, and I think we should be crossing. <laughs> God. I mean, if you two also forget how old you were and start to make innuendos about sexual things, please feel free to share them with us. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this hand reminds me of? The Thing from Adam Family. It'd been shot. Because the Thing was... 
this hand. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. Oh my I, God, are I you sufficiently oh, stuffed? I just slapped myself. It's not that kind of toy. <laughs> okay. It can be what kind of toy I want it to be, right? Okay. <laughs> so once you're significantly stuffed, and yeah. you're happy with your, your firmness. Are mm -hmm. you happy with your firmness? Yeah, it's all right, it's not bad. Okay. You can discard the rest of the wadding. Right. <laughs> okay. And Goodbye, then you have a piece what? of cardboard. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what you're going to do is on a piece of cardboard, you're going to put your glove down. Mm -hmm. So you've got some, some overlap of bottom of glove. And now what you're going to do is go round the bottom with your tape. Around the bottom? Yeah, around the bottom. Around the top. So let, let me show you. <laughs> Got the bottom there. Yeah. And you're just putting a little bit of tape on. Like that. Okay. And on the other side, because you, you want to create a little bit of a, a tension moment. Well, I see what's happening here. So the, the glove will stand up. Oh, wow. I think this is a great item for QVC. So the gallery are currently saying that they think this is a shunky item, right? Because obviously they've never seen this show before. <laughs> <laughs> and expect us to come up with actual things that work. <laughs> okay. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, see? And now what you can, once you've got yours firmly attached, which is what I'm just finishing off now. <laughs> I'll take my chain off. Yeah, so you can rest. <laughs> See if it works. So I'm going to pop a ring on mine. Okay, so when I'm going to bed at night, I can slip my ring off. Oh, this one's a bit tight. But look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look How wonderful is that, you see? Can I... Look at that. Somewhere wonderful where you can store your jewelry. Look at the quality. Look at the execution. That. You, see? you can't tell me I didn't go to art school. I, I'm sorry, that's, <laughs> that's a great way of, of holding your jewelry overnight. So you know it doesn't. It's not just thrown on abandon. It, it's there forever. <laughs> you still cat while you're asleep. And remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, you could always be a crafty queen. Oh, it's, oh, I can, it's, it's no one. <laughs> I can go to sleep like that. <laughs> That's not sad and depressing at all, is it? I can no. hold a hand no. I've made. It's cute, right? Yeah, it's cute, yeah. yeah. Oh, You've, not filled high five. Five. You've not filled your fingers. Yeah. No, I've done all right. Yeah, my fingers are firm. I go over a fisting. You've got limp fingers. <laughs> anyway, that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is good.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. What happened? What happened? Yeah, that's that's it. I know. What happened? It's nice. Oh.